extend to the family of David Fowler, that's Bridget Carter's uncle, and also the family of C.B. Davis. Let's uh, keep these, <clears throat> these families in our, our prayers as they, they grieve lost loved ones. Also add to your sick list, uh, Darnell is at home sick, and also Norman is going to be having knee replacement tomorrow, so let's keep him in our prayers that he'll have a, a speedy recovery from that. Um, a few announcements to remind you of. Uh, we will be having our Sunday evening singing this afternoon, so uh, get ready for that. Um, they will be having a, a baby shower for Paige and Jonathan Bates today from 2 to 3.30 here at the building. Uh, Jonathan says he's planning a family night uh, movie and bonfire here at the building on March 15th at 6 p.m., so go ahead and be, be making plans to be a part of that. Looking forward to, to having that. Um, also, uh, uh, don't forget, everybody's phone pretty much does it for you now, but don't forget we uh, spring forward this next weekend, and uh, keep that in mind, too. You don't want to be late, or early, late, um, next Sunday morning. Uh, our birthdays for this uh, week, uh, March 4th is Ashley Bates. Uh, March 6th on Wednesday is Cohen Russian. Uh, March 7th on Thursday is Summer Thornhill. And Luke Herndon on Saturday, March 9th. So we've got a few birthdays. Let's uh, wish all those a happy birthday. Uh, we're taking part in our worship this afternoon. Brad Crawley will have our opening prayer. Cooper Goff will have our closing prayer. And uh, John Adam Goff will be leading us in our singing. Mark mentioned this is our singing service, so um, still working through some of the favorite songs of the my left, your right side of the building. Uh, so I've got this sheet here we're trying to work through. We're going to begin uh, this afternoon with uh, one of Miss Jackie's favorites, God is So Good. A simple song with simple words, and I imagine um, probably one of the reasons that she likes it. Uh, very few lyrics, really. Uh, easy song. After we sing this song, we'll have our opening prayer. And uh, not on the slides here, but I know there uh, is an echo with this song, right? So if those of you didn't know it, please include it. Let's sing it. God is so afternoon during our song service as we are um, we know that there are words in the songs that are beneficial and edifying to us and we pray Father that 
as each one sings, that they will, they will uh, take part in the service and they will listen to the words and read the words and they will have something that will be taught to them in their hearts that will help them to live closer to thee. Our Father in heaven, we are thankful for thy Son, Jesus Christ, and it's in and through his uh, broken body on the cross and shed blood that we have hope of eternal life. We're thankful, Father, that you uh, have seen fit for a way for us to find that way. We pray, Father, if there are those here today that are lost, that something will be said or done that will, that will cause them to see the errors of their ways, and that they will come to you and become a Christian before it's everlastingly too late. Our Father, we do pray for those uh, that are mentioned and have been mentioned as being sick and less fortunate. Uh, ask a special blessing for Brother Norman tomorrow, and there may be others uh, that we may not know about who need our prayers. We know that there's power in prayer, and we know, Father, that uh, through these prayers that, that your will will be done. We're thankful, Father, for the congregation here and each member who makes up the congregation as we go through this year. Uh, we pray that you'll bless us in our efforts to spread the gospel uh, to our community, to our friends, to our family, to, to anyone uh, that needs to hear the gospel. And we pray that through our efforts that uh, much good will come from it. We continue to pray for our building program and other programs that we have. We're thankful for the, for the leadership of the congregation here, those especially who lead in the programs. And we pray, Father, that uh, we will we'll take part in these programs and we will help in any way that we can um, to see the, the benefits of them. We do ask, Father, that you would be with us through the upcoming week. Uh, during the times that we're with others outside the church, we pray that, that our light will always shine before you and before those around about us. And that they'll know who we are and what we stand for, and that we uh, will do our best in every way uh, to spread your gospel and to be your child. We ask that you would forgive us of our sins and shortcomings at this time, if there are any in our lives, and we pray that, that you would continue to bless us. We ask all these things in your son's precious and holy name. Remain standing. If you're using the handle number nine, a wonderful savior. It's actually uh, Tyler Chase. This is Alexi's fiance. Um, said this is one of his favorites. He enjoys it when uh, when it's led in, in worship service. That reminds him of uh, the protection uh, that he has. So uh, let's sing the first and fourth verse of number nine. A wonderful savior. A wonderful Savior is Jesus, my Lord. A wonderful Savior to me. He hides my soul in the cleft of the rock, where rivers of pleasure I see. He hides my soul. Two months ago, I think we're trying to at least do it once uh, for a few uh, uh, rotations through so we can stay fresh on it. Cooper's going to lead us. 
and uh, Living Hope, and then Parker's going to introduce us to a, a newer song after that. So, would you like me to know those? Let's sing out. Let's sing. How great the chasm that lay between us.
Above all. <coughs> above all powers, above all kings, above all nature and all created things, above all wisdom and all the ways of man, you were here before. this one to me before. It's one of the, uh, his favorites uh, since he had started attending here and uh, we're going to sing number 805. <clears throat> like I got, no I'm not. Where's Chris? Chris is going to lead this song. Come on. My, my throat's struggling, man. You can do it. <laughs> First and third verses. <clears throat> I come to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses and the voice I hear calling on my ear. The Oh, 
them to be submissive to rulers and authorities, to be obedient, to be ready for every good word, to speak evil of no one, to avoid quarreling, to be gentle, and to show perfect courtesy toward all people. For we ourselves were once foolish, disobedient, led astray, slaves to various passions and pleasures, passing our days in malice and envy, hated by others and hating one another. And so I like how he starts off his final chapter to Titus. Now Titus, being a younger man, and Paul's right to him as, as a gospel preacher, and he tells him, hey, remind the ones who you preach to, remind the, one, remind the ones that you teach, uh, encourage them, you know, don't speak evil of anyone, and just remember where you two were at one point, Right? Remember what your life used to look like without Christ and maybe uh, the encouragement that we talked about on Sunday mornings, the Barnabas factor, right? Maybe if you realize and recall the life that you once lived before you were a Christian is so like so many others, right? And so let that remind you as you go out and, and, and interact and uh, are around different people, of how you should act towards them, that you've been there before. Because he says, verse 3, we ourselves were once foolish, remember? We were disobedient, we were led astray, we were slaves to various passions and pleasures, passing our days in malice and envy, hated by others and hating one another, but then, thanks be to God, right? Paul tells Titus, when the goodness and loving kindness of God, our Savior, appeared, he saved us. Not because of works done by us in righteousness, but because of what? That amazing grace. Right? That amazing grace of Jesus Christ. He saved us not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy. By the washing of regeneration, the renewal of the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out onto us richly through Jesus Christ, our Savior. I like that idea, right? When I sing the song Amazing Grace, now, as we talked about this morning, uh, so often, you know, we would come to a place and just used to the songs that we sing. And how many times have you sang Amazing Grace in your life? <clears throat> a lot, right? Almost like Jesus uh, loves me, okay? I almost forgot the point. Words of Jesus loves me right there. Almost as much as you sang the song Jesus loves me, you probably sang Amazing Grace, right? And it's a it's a wonderful song. If we're not careful, we don't think about it. Just as we talked about this morning, man, how amazing is His grace? And I love the way Paul says that it has been poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Man, we are blessed, are we not? I was waiting on my amen. There. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Verse 7, so that being justified by his grace, we might become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. The only way you can be justified is through the grace of God that is poured out to us <laughs> richly through Jesus Christ. What an awesome sight that we read about here. Saying is trustworthy, he says, I want you to insist on these things so that those who have believed in God may be careful to devote themselves to good works. These things are excellent and profitable for people. So maybe it's important for us to remember that amazing grace. The amazing grace that has been poured out onto us richly through Jesus Christ. We have the opportunity this afternoon the invitation is open as it always is. And so maybe you've forgotten that amazing grace. Maybe you are living in a way that does not reflect the amazing grace that has been poured out onto you. You have the opportunity this afternoon to, to make that right. And you have so many brothers and sisters who love you and would love to pray for you and help you get back on that right track. Maybe you're uh, not yet a Christian, but you uh, have the desire to put on Christ in baptism this afternoon. We can assist you in that as well. Won't you come while we stand and sing faithful Lord. Thank
so thankful for this day, We're so thankful for this opportunity. Uh, Father, we are so thankful for all the souls that have gathered here. And Father, pray for those that have taken of this bread and pray that will reflect their minds on the great significance that it represents. Father, that God himself, his son, took on flesh and came onto this earth with his perfect life. Allowed his body to be spat upon, to be mocked, to be humiliated, all above of us and redeeming us. Pray for those particular to do so in the name of the Lord. Appreciate everybody being here both this morning, again this afternoon for our singing service. It's uh, something that we, we want to continue to do and we want to continue uh, to expound upon our, our skills and uh, our, our worship to God, learning new songs that keep us all fresh and keep us all in that, that, uh, that mindset when we worship. So uh, I appreciate new songs from time to time, but I realize if we don't re-sing them back to back, we'll forget them. So we've been guilty of that at a time too. Introduce a bunch of new ones and never going back to them. So trying to, I think we finally got living hope down though. So maybe next month we'll move on uh, to a new one. We'll finish up this side and then we'll move over uh, to this side. This is some of their favorite songs. Appreciate, uh, again, appreciate the lesson uh, this afternoon too. Um, from John. Is there anything that needs to be mentioned? Wednesday night, 6.30 for our Bible uh, study. I think uh, Chas will be leading the auditorium class continuing our one word series and next Lord's Day 9 o'clock a.m. for worship there's nothing else we want to sing uh, close the song number 215 the hymn is one of Rick's favorite songs uh, go ahead and stand if you would Rick told me about this song I, he, he actually taught it to me kind of really introduced to me he said man this it was a guy at Amory let's sing and he said he just does such a good job with it he, he kind of had a, a thundering voice I guess he was telling me about it anyway uh, he said he just it's just it's a real reverent song, a prayerful song. It got him in the right frame of mind. And I said, well, if it does for Rick, maybe it will us too. So we'll die. I tried to learn it. Um, now it's one of become one of my favorites as well. It's in the first and second verses of
pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we're just so thankful for this day you have given us, Father. We thank you for all the blessings you've given us, Father. We're thankful for the weather that we have today. And, uh, Father, we're just uh, thankful for the lessons that we've heard today. And we pray that we uh, can apply them to our lives, Father. Father, we just pray that your, the worship we've given you today is a sweet, savory taste to you, Father. Father, we just ask you to please be with all those with the sick and shut in list. Please help them get back to the state they would like to be in, Father. Father, just praise brings back to the next point of time. In your son's name we pray. Amen. Amen.